Now, South Sudan's government has condemned an attack on the Juba Nimule Road in the southern part of the country that has killed scores of people. Opposition group led by former Vice President Riek Mashar has claimed responsibility for the attack on the road linking South Sudan to Uganda. CGTN's Patrick Oyet reports from Juba. The attackers ambushed a convoy of 30 cars traveling from the border town of Nimle to South Sudan's capital, Juba. South Sudan's police says 14 people were killed in the attack and nine were injured. Five Ugandan nationals are reported to be among those killed. Opposition group led by former Vice President Riek Machar claimed responsibility for the attack, saying the attack was a message to Juba that the opposition under Riek Machar would not join the national dialogue South Sudan's government has condemned the attack if they are IOs why should they not go to where the government is why kill innocent citizens on the roads the attack comes at a time when President Salva Kiir has declared unilateral ceasefire. Since last year, the South Sudan security forces have been providing military escorts to public transport along Juba Nimule Highway after increased attacks on travelers by armed men. Juba says its armed forces will continue to provide escorts to vehicles traveling along the Juba Nimule Road, but the presence of the military escorts did not prevent the latest attack on the convoy. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.